And it's the W teaching you how to make a very own custom QR code. Um, it'll be something kind of like this, but it's a little bit better. So you're going to want to go to your website called qrcode.me. Under the URL, go to Google or whatever you want, and it will load your QR code. Under Options, you're going to want to select Q under Error Code Correction. Now that you have your QR code, download it and go to Photoshop. Add a new layer with 50, height 50, and you can name this QR code. Now you could drag your QR code and it would appear as a smart layer. Now that you have your smart layer, you want to go to your QR code, right click, and rasterize your layer. Now that it's rasterized, go to your background, double click, and just name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it background, so it's easier to multitask. Okay, so now that we have a background selected, you don't want to go to select coloring out of the white delete it and now you have the background but the thing is now do this with the QR code as you see you don't see it disappear yet until you go to your background gradient overlay and add your color now as you see the gradient is in back of the QR code so we're going to get creative and add a couple of features Now that you're done, you could add a radio, and you can see your QR code. So now it's done, you can deselect this, and now let's get to shapes. Go to the shape menu, and it will usually be behind you under line tool and your rectangle tool. So now click on the shape. And if you don't see your shapes right now, just go to the arrow and select all. And it would come up with this um, form and just add it. Okay. Now our shape is going to be a basic bunny. Add bunny. And make sure the shape is on top of the QR code. Filter. Sharpen. And unsharp your mask. Now that you're done. If you want, you could go to free transform and you could resize them. You could go to your shape options after free transform. Name this rabbit and give it a color overlay. I'm going to make it green. And now that you have your green, you could really get creative with it you could go to your magic wand select it go to select modify and expand now I'm going to expand it by 50 I mean 30 pixels most people expand it by 5 pixels but in this case since our width is 50 expand it by 30 pixels so now with the QR code selected and the rabbit selected make sure that you have the QR code um, selected, go to a new layer, invert, and as you see, now you have your rabbit inverted. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, like, or favorite this video. And the reason why is because soon I'll be um, bringing some real fl flow tutorials, and I'll come up with a couple of more 3D um, animation tutorials. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, feel free. Um, thanks for watching. This is Flawless Tutorials. Have a nice one.